Welcome to Nerd Alert, everyone. We have a fantastic show this week with two return guests. Of course, you know Jenna Bush from the Legion of Leia, which she founded, and of course, most craved on Crave Online, uh, with William Bibiani, who also is doing the uh, What the Flicks with you. Yes, yes, he is. And of course, you'll remember Grant e. Mahara. Grant stars as Hikaru Sulu in Star Trek Continues. He is also, of course, from Mythbusters. Um, ILM, prolific bot building. You have just made a, a Sailor Moon wand on your Instagram. Which <laughs> <laughs> that was for someone I'm glad, else, not I'm glad for we're myself. Promoting this. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, master builder and also Star Trek dude. Yes. Grant Mahara. Yes. Um, That's so what I'm calling you from now Star on, Star Trek, Trek dude. dude. Making all Please of change our... the Chiron to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. That'd be awesome. I have Star a couple uh, Twitter Q and A questions for you too. Oh. Uh, which I received, I asked yesterday on my Twitter. So if you would like to be a part of the conversation in the future, you should follow me at, at Kim Scorcher and at Nerd Alert TYT. There are two T's consecutively. The capitalization makes it different. Let's move. <laughs> the first question is from um, at Brain Hurt Smash. He says, or she says, uh, what modifications in color would your lightsabers have? Now, of course, the, the Star Wars uh, teaser just came out, and we saw... Um, you know, yeah. a very interesting lightsaber with interesting modifications. So you may include that if you want, if you feel the need. I would like to say that mine would be blue, mm -hmm. except that I actually have a red lightsaber in my trunk right now. So, yes. and I have a Darth Vader necklace and Darth Vader underwear. You so I think like you're in denial. Secretly oh, Sith is I mean, what you are. I might be secretly Sith. You're gonna need a synthetics crystal. I, I might. I'm sorry. I might. <laughs> <laughs> I, the dark side has cookies, guys. It's true. It's the best. Sure. Are they gluten free? Because otherwise, <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Grant e. Mahara, same question. Oh boy. Um, I don't know. I think I'd go for green. Would be yeah. the color and more um, sagely and lovely. yeah, yeah. And and um, I'm intrigued actually by the tri saber, which you know there's a lot of controversy about. The one with the the cross guard. The cross guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mm -hmm. see. They say that it won't. It protects your hands from being dinged up, but I don't. It's Star Wars. Nothing I, can protect your hands. I will, they all get yeah. cut off when you're a Jedi. <laughs> that's right. That's well, that the... depends. Uh, yeah, that's it's true. a rite of passage for a Jedi, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. I have another question from Sonic Case or at Sonic Case, who asks, "What are your thoughts on the Oshbot and the Star Wars trailer too?" If you're not familiar with the Oshbot, there is a commercial uh, where it's Orchard Supply Hardware Store. And there's a guy, and he's looking for something, and a robot comes and asks if he can help, and he takes him to go find whatever he's looking for, and the man says, I feel like I've made a friend, and possibly the saddest moment ever. <laughs> oh, I, I think that's kind of cool, um, but I won't say anything else, because otherwise the robot overlords will come after me. I'm nice to my toaster, just, you know, for, for future insurance. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's wrong with having robots as friends? Well, also, what's <laughs> sad about no, that, Kim? I'm saying that's a store clerk, and because the store clerk helped you, it doesn't mean they're your friend. They're just oh, doing their job. Oh, that's like oh, thinking okay. the strippers really like you. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> there is something a little bit weird about that, though, because I have worked in retail as a day job um, for years. I I don't do it anymore, but I have great empathy for anyone who still does. And that sounded really obnoxious the way I just said that. But no, I mean, it's because it's, it's really a difficult job. I mean, I don't know. I, I hate to think about people being replaced, but and at the same time, I want a robot friend. Yeah. I really do. Well, maybe, maybe you'd be more interested in a robot friend than a robot uh, employee. Grant, will you build me a robot friend? I could absolutely build Will you. Will you build robot me a robot friend. employee? I could build you. It could be the same, the same robot, actually, what? right? Um, but yeah, I mean, there's the whole uncanny valley thing mm -hmm. where you know people I are building robots, but yeah, and and you know, some people have objections to to having robots in their lives. I don't. I like robots. Real I quick, like how did you feel about the Star Wars trailer? The teaser, rather. It's not a trailer. Teaser. Yeah. Teaser. I made a noise that only dogs could hear. When I saw it, I stayed up all night because I had to run on Legion of Leia. And I was so happy. But seriously, my cats left the room when yeah. I made the noise. Is that what that noise was? That was me. Yeah. <laughs> that was me watching the Star Wars All season. the animals in the neighborhood go, mm hmm? <laughs> That's totally me. No, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was really cool. And even better, I, the, the one thing that I loved about it was no spoilers. Yeah. There was no, we got nothing. Nothing is spoiled. You get I like hints, getting which hints. is cool. Yeah, yeah. Hints. 
I liked it. I loved it. Um, I loved everything about it except for the uh, soccer bot. Oh, oh, I, I liked like him. Or, 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 or it. it but, was, but he's yeah. based on the Ralph Mcmacquarie McCor um, original design for R2-D2, which is really cool. Well, I, Grant yeah. has worked in the R2 department. And yes. <laughs> yes, in my professional opinion. <laughs> I well, just, I, you know, now. I look at it, I look at it, and it, and it has a look. See, the thing that's great about R2 in, in the original Star Wars is that he's rusted and it's mm. you know it's a used universe and it, and it makes sense um i just a rolling he's soccer clean. bot he's <laughs> too clean and he looks too cutesy maybe he, they'll kick him because they'll mistake him for something else and then he won't be <laughs> <laughs> look it's just it's too cute he's too cute i'm sorry r2 has a personality though he does but he's it, not cute he's like sassy though he is sassy he's i did read an original robot. script that had r2 dialogue for him he was mean he was really mean. <laughs> so I, I like it being replaced with uh, unintelligible beeps. Last question. Any tips for getting into a nerd or geek career without a heavy science or math background? Grant, you do have an engineering background, so I don't. But I have do. you met people in your course of events in your uh, wherever in your job? Oh, all the time. I mean, this is the question is a, a nerd or geek career. Is that right? Yes. Oh, yeah. All the time. I am among people who, all the time, who, <laughs> who? don't have a heavy <laughs> engineering or science background. And you know what? There are so many ways to, to have that career. It's a very broad mm -hmm. term. I think so, too. I mean, I don't have an engineering background. I am a huge science nerd, and I always have been. I almost burned down my house with a chemistry set when I was eight. <laughs> Um, sorry, Dad. But I, but I mean, I got into this just because of a huge love of science and comic books and video games and all of that. So it was never, I, I mean, I didn't go to school, but I, I also can't build robot friends. Right. So there's right. that. So I think probably the advice would be if you love it, just keep pursuing it. Write about it, film stuff. You know, you just, you kind of have to do it yourself now rather oh, yeah. than waiting for someone else to hire you. <laughs> but that's the good thing is that now you can. Yeah. It used to be you had to you know, submit, you had to work on a portfolio, and if you're doing something artistic, submit that. But nowadays, you can you can put it out there on the internet and broadcast it, and people will find we're you. We're doing it right now. We're, we're doing so it right now. meta. Yeah. So that was what I did. I, I created this show. I mean, it's not like, oh, I made all these concepts up, but I said this is what I want to do, and presented it to uh, Steve O, CEO of the Young Turks, and he was into it. So I would just say keep trying, because there's a lot of failure along the way, and it does happen, but things that are great are not easy to come by, I would say. That's so true. So keep it up, true. audience, and also keep up watching here. Great oh, segue, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, because Grant and Jenna will be here all week to discuss all different topics. Thank you both for coming in.